Hey you guys, thanks for tuning in to my final video of 2016. It has been a huge one for me, but I cannot wait to see what 2017 has in store for us. I have a feeling it's going to be the best year yet. Um, but if you missed the first two videos in this three part series that I did on YouTube, the first video features my favorite moments and highlights from the past year. The second video features my 10 favorite purchases from 2016. And then today's video is featuring my goals and resolutions for the coming year. So let's get started. The first resolution on my list is actually to walk more. It seems pretty simple and self-explanatory, but I want to give you a background on why I chose it. Whenever I travel, I walk so much. For example, when Jess and I were in Japan, we were walking upwards of 25,000 steps a day. And then I came back and was looking at my app when I was back in Austin and back in Dallas. And I was walking eh, around a thousand steps a day. It's pitiful. So <laughs> I, I mean, I work from home. So I usually am just like walking to the bathroom or walking to my desk or walking upstairs. It's not, I don't do a lot of walking outside or anything like that just because I don't, need to every day. Um, so one of my goals for the new year is to get outside more, whether that's just taking a break from my desk and walking for 30 minutes outside or finding a friend to go walk with after work, um, or just doing more activities that are outside that convince me and get me to walk more. Uh, I just really want to be moving on a more regular basis in addition to my BBG and spinning that I do every day. So <laughs> that is my resolution number one. If you watch my first video in this series, you'll know that me hiring my first employee was a really big step for me and moment in 2016. And while it's definitely taught me a lot in terms of being a business owner and being a first time manager, I've never really managed anyone. Um, I have learned that I need to be better at delegating. And so that's one of my goals for 2017 is to delegate more. Um, it's particularly hard for me because the blog is my baby. It's, I'm so passionate about it. And I put my heart and soul into everything. I write all of the content. It's always me. And so it's hard for me to let pieces go because I'm such a control freak, but also because it's so important to me. Um, and so I'm, I'm, since I've hired somebody new, who's a great writer and I'm hoping she can help me with the little things like Twitter, Facebook, so I don't have to worry about creating content for those channels. And I can focus mostly on creating content for the blog and for YouTube and all of that. So she's going to help me schedule and I won't have to edit her as much, which is great. I've just, I've been bad about letting those pieces go because I love doing it myself. But in order to focus on the big pitch, picture, I need to be better at delegating. On the health side of things, you may notice that I am a sugar addict. I will eat any sweets. I really don't discriminate. I, I eat everything, candy, cookies, cake, ice cream, snow cones. I mean, every, everything that has sugar in it, I will like. Um, and I think I'm, like I said, sort of an addict and I really need to cut back. I cannot go one day without something sweet. I have to end my day with a piece of sugar, a piece of candy, some ice cream or something. Um, and I would really like to stop doing that, but I found it pretty difficult. So I may try to do Whole30. I haven't decided how I'm going to do this yet. Um, if you've done Whole30, let me know how you liked it. Uh, my mom has also done the South Beach diet, which I think pretty much cuts out sugar. So I'm just looking, I'm just looking at, I'm not, I'm not really wanting to do like a strict diet. I eat generally pretty healthy on the weekdays, but I just would like to cut back on sugar, not eat, not feel like I need to eat some every day. So that's a goal of mine for sure. As I go into 2017, I'm shifting where my money goes. So before it was going to bills, clothes, travel, and now with my new house, it's mostly going to the new house and those bills. Um, so budgeting is a big concern to me and I really need to get better at that. And so I'm really gonna work on that this year and set aside a specific amount to save for the new house because I will be buying all new furniture. I'm starting with a clean slate since it's my first house I'm using an interior designer. I'm adding on to it currently. So I just need to be better about budgeting, not spend as much money on clothes. I won't be traveling as much this year. Um, 
which is sort of sad, but I'm so excited to see where this house is going and really get into it and make it great. So budgeting, that's one of my big ones. I'm definitely an independent person. If you've ever met me, I'm perfectly fine on my own. I've been really happily independent for the last five years. Um, I haven't been in a serious relationship since then, so um, it really hasn't bothered me, but I definitely feel like I need to put myself out there more, so that's sort of my goal for 2017 um, for my love life, is just meeting more people, putting myself out there. I get so focused on work and the things that I'm already doing that going on a date just sounds terrible to me, honestly. Um, but I'm totally open to meeting new people. I just need to put myself in positions where I'm going to do that. So go out more, um, maybe join a league of some kind. I don't know. I'm still not sure I'm into the whole online dating thing or apps. I'm not convinced that's for me or what I'm looking for, but definitely want to put myself out there more and meet some new folks. I'd like to think of myself as a giving person. I always donate around the holidays. I actually donate clothes throughout the year to Goodwill. Um, but as far as being able to donate my time, I'd really like to do more volunteering this year um, and just in the future on an ongoing basis, not just do it around the holidays, but um, volunteer throughout the year, maybe set aside a couple times a week where I can do that. Because I do work from home, I'm a little more flexible and can be flexible with my hours so i think that would be a great thing to do plus side benefit i could meet new people that way so there you go while i am adding on to my new house um, the storage space i believe is going to be quite a bit smaller than what i've been used to and so one of my goals is to declutter a little bit more. I'm generally pretty good at getting rid of stuff that I don't use um, or things that I bought that I've held on to a really long time. I go through my closet every few months and get rid of things um, either by donating them to Goodwill and for the nicer things, I will sell them uh, via a consignment store. But I would like to kind of streamline as I move into my new house. Um, I'm building a closet there and there are two closets in the guest room, but they're very small. And even my closet in the master isn't that huge. I currently use two to three closets <laughs> in this place. So I'm downsizing a little bit. And so I would like to streamline and that is one of my goals. Another thing for a health kick, um, I'd like to drink more water. I like water, but sometimes when I am working, I just, totally zone into that. I cannot do anything else. If I get distracted, like my whole line of focus is ruined. Um, so I just need to get better about drinking water throughout the day. I'm always chugging it when I'm working out like a flywheel. I'm just dying and I'm chugging water the whole time and I'll probably have a bottle after class. But as far as drinking it throughout the day, I'm not very good at that and staying hydrated. I think my skin would benefit from that. Um, I probably wouldn't get as many hangovers after I go out, um, but I just think it overall is better for you to drink a lot of water. So that is one of my resolutions. As I mentioned earlier, um, I probably will not be traveling all that much this year just because I'm trying to save money to spend on the house versus other things. Um, but I still want to travel. So I'm thinking I'm going to travel more domestically. And so I want to visit some cities that I have yet to go to. I've never been to Charleston. I've never been to Boston. I have been to Chicago, but it wasn't, I haven't been since seventh grade and I only went that one time. So I barely remember it. So basically didn't go. So I want to go to those three cities this year. If you guys have any other recommendations of really cool cities that I need to check out that I don't have city guides for, or you think I would just love, let me know. But definitely tra traveling domestically is on my list for this year. And then last but not least, I would love to shoot two to three times more videos for YouTube. I really would like to do more vlogging. Now I'm still trying to figure out what that actually means, whether it's gonna be more dialogues like this or whether I'm doing lots more tutorials or style videos. I got lots of great feedback from that leather pants video that I did styling those five different ways. So maybe I'll expand that and do lots more of those. Um, if you have video requests, please send them my way. I'm always open to trying new things and want to be as helpful as I can, but I have just loved being on YouTube. I love connecting with you guys in this way. 
Um, so thank you for all of your support and for following along this year. I cannot wait to see what 2017 brings. I will see you guys in the new year. Happy new year. <laughs>